hello everyone i hope you're doing well welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll be discussing about wolf parkinson white syndrome so wpw is characterized by premature excitation of the ventricle due to an accessory pathway from the atria known as bundle of cant so it is an additional pathway in the conduction system of the heart between the atria and ventricles and this pathway conducts the excitation to the ventricles faster than the normal conduction pathway and thus leads to premature and partial contractions of the ventricular muscles it is a type of atrioventricular reciprocating tachycardia which is a supraventricular tachycardia so on the ecg you will find a shortened pr interval because there is premature ventricular contraction ventricles are contracting much faster rate and because of this there will be slurring of qrs complex so a delta wave will be formed i have marked the delta wave with an arrow and uh, there will be a widened qrs complex another picture of wpw and lead to you can clearly appreciate delta waves and the qrs complex is wide and there is short and very very short pr interval so basically there are three type of impulses in wpw one is sinus rhythm what happens in sinus rhythm that the ventricles are depolarized through av node as well as the accessory pathway and in orthodromic tachycardia there will be a re-entry circuit which passes anti-gradely from the av node to the ventricles and from the ventricles to again atria where a retrograde pathway which is an accessory pathway and in pre excitatory atrial fibrillation the ventricles are largely depolarized through the accessory pathways so look at the picture that the ventricles are depolarizing through av node as well as an accessory pathway and because of this the ventricles will contract at a faster rate and it will produce shortened pr interval white qrs complex and delta waves in this picture you can see that there is a re-entry circuit so the electrical impulse is passing anti-gradely through the av node and then retrogradely from the ventricles to the again the atria through the accessory pathway forming a re-entry circuit so this is orthodromic tachycardia it is the most common form of tachycardia in wpw syndrome and it produces a narrow qrs complex there will be no delta waves and because the ventricles are depolarized in a normal way the resultant ecg is therefore indistinguishable from other forms of svts so in pre excitatory atrial fibrillation the ventricles are largely depolarized through the accessory pathway and it produces an irregular broad complex tachycardia it is called pre excitatory because it produces a dangerously rapid ventricular rate and why it has a very rapid ventricular rate because the accessory pathway lacks the rate limiting properties of av node so for hemodynamically unstable patients dc conversion is the treatment modality so all kind of tachycardias except for pulseless vt we have to do dc cardioversion if patient is unstable so i have created a video on acls review you can go and watch it it is a very useful video and maybe you will learn something from it so in that video i have described different type of tachycardias and rhythms and what to do in hemodynamically unstable patients so you will know and uh, for acute cases with arrhythmias example atrial fibrillation then you will give antiarrhythmic drugs example procainamide which is the drug of choice and it's a sodium channel blocker class 1 alternative agents include amiodron and quinidine so chronic symptomatic patients may undergo radio frequency ablation of the accessory pathways and radio frequency ablation is nearly always curative drugs to avoid are digoxin and calcium channel blockers because they block the normal av node and force conduction into the abnormal accessory pathway so that's the end of the lecture i hope you learned something from it if you do please like my video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you